best as those two combined for 67 points to win it all. And that's why they're here right here right now. Here we go. Pool B, game one. Riga San Juan, let's get to it. Ocasio has it on the block. He's got Rylot on the baseline. The two is going to go up, and it's going to go down. Banga. Crewman's trying to answer back with the two-piece, but he ain't shooting like Luis. Not so far. So after the Luis two-piece, San Juan enjoying an early two-zip advantage by Shilich on the go. Got past Ralat, and he's going to earn a trip to the stripe. Shooting one. By Shilich again, average 5.5 in those two losses. And Shenzhen knocked down three twos, and he knocks down the free throw. Riga on the board, 2-1. Ocasio, Malacas. That man strong. Four shot by Crew. Rebound to San Juan. Again, yeah, big O. Oh. Stepped on the line, but that step back was vicious. Rylot. He's a certified bucket. They waste that possession, though. Oh, travel call. They'll turn it back over to the Poriquas. Oh, faded, faded, faded. Nice little knock knockdown and a soft touch from Leandro Allende. Now it's Luis. He will hand it off. Pull up, tough defense right there. Great contest there from Wu. And he'll, he'll send Ocasio to the bench to get a breather. And San Juan lead it early. 3-1, shout out to all the people watching from Puerto Rico. We'll have a San Juan challenger coming this way in, 2000, in uh, September. Here in 2023. Looking forward to that. We'll see if it'll be at the T-Mobile District. He shot that one outside of his district. Didn't matter. Antonio Ralat saying, voila. Look what he put out his bag for the deep end. Two-piece combo from Chooks to go. Yes, he'll go up to the line. Shout out to my guy, Roly, Rolando, my broadcast partner when I was out there in San Juan, if he's watching. So seven, seven to two, San Juan. Now in years past, this would be a shocking start. You hear the name Riga and it usually means success as the second most winning 3X3 franchise. But things are different in 2023. Now they got Miroslav Paisilich passing to some dude named Zingri Wu. <laughs> that foul called on MP. I'm going to call him Streaky P. Paisilich is one of those dudes, when he gets on a hot streak, you can say good night. He's that explosive offensively, but sometimes the shot selection uh, is less than desirable. How about that? Four-point lead for San Juan. 
as we're just over two minutes into our second game of day one from here in Manila. Oh, Crewman's the warrior splashes one to get his team within two. That's one thing Crewman's can do. And again, as much as Riga has changed, this is still a competitive team. Again, they, even though they were bounced in pool play, they only lost to Beijing, who ended up winning the whole thing. They only lost to them by two points. They can stay in games. As a matter of fact, <laughs> they were up five points against Beijing and ended up losing that game. I believe they were up 19 to 14, and somehow that game slipped uh, between their grasp. There's Chavez. He's got a delivery. And all of a sudden, Riga are within one. Crewman's pick his pocket and then draws the foul. It's a win win situation. They win the possession and they'll tack on another foul for San Juan, who now have five, which means they got one more to give. San Juan had jumped all over Riga in the early goings. It was seven to three. A 3-0 run by the Latvians as Wu takes another pass from Paisilic. It's deadlocked. Ralat couldn't drop it from two range. Ocasio runs into traffic, the jump hook. He will get the friendly bounce and put the Puerto Ricans up by one. San Juan, eight, Riga, seven. As we head into our first TV timeout. It's become a competitive contest. It wasn't always this way. It was looking like a one-sided affair with San Juan jumping on Riga out of the gates. But once the Latvians were able to settle in, they tied the game at seven apiece, only to see San Juan jump back out in front by one. But this is going to be anybody's game the rest of the way. We'll see if San Juan can regain their composure. Again, after that hot start, here we go. Ralat with the rock. He'll get it down to Ocasio. Ocasio to Ralat. He drops it like it's hot on the baseline. Sure shot from Mr. Buckets. He wants a nickname already. You got to play a little bit more. Ralat, it's coming. I know they call you Mr. Buckets. Keep getting buckets, and it'll stick. <laughs> 9-7. And offensive foul call. See, I actually like the nickname Lotto better because he's money. Get it? Lotto. Chick okay, never mind. 9-7. We'll leave the nicknames up to Julian DeBove. Ocasio swinging through. Uh, two to the head. Then he did the mellow to him. Ocasio trying to clear Chavars uh, away. He gets called for the foul. Ocasio, he's hyped up. That two piece got him excited. That's the seventh foul, though, on San Juan. As they uh, they lead it back by four again. So Ocasio has helped ignite the team. Chavar is not helping Riga's cause any by missing the first of two free throws. Chavar's second one is swished. Ocasio will clear it. Ralat, he's a certified bucket. He will give it up. They're going to let Ocasio go to work. Ocasio, 
He's a bull down there. Ocasio, I'm going to call him Toro. That's not a bad nickname. He's a bull down there. Ocasio trying to clear some space. Not happening that time. So there was a foul there. Looks like it and one as Pyshilich goes to another gear. And he's able to draw the contact. Streaky P with two points in this game. And he's going to get the free throw to go. Got a chance to tie things up here. We got over five minutes to play in this one. And San Juan... Although they've been able to jump out to a couple of four-point leads, and they lead it here by one, they got eight team fouls. Uh, so that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Oh, Lotto, cha-ching, money, 10, 13. Uh-uh, he blocked him like spam. But then Chavez is able to clear the way and get the bucket. Two-point game. Rallot. Trying to get another bucket. That one tipped. Turn around fader. All oxygen. It'll stay where it's at as Riga will start this downhill attack with Pyshilich. Offensive foul. I, I guess Krumens was moving on a screen. So Riga will pick up a six. They've got one to give. Got a whistle and a seventh foul on Riga. Upcoming free throws. Neither team has played so sharply on the defensive end. Luis Kualskat. Kualskat. He's going to miss the first to two. And he's able to split a pair. As San Juan will lead it by three. Just over four minutes to play. A quick whistle. Travel. So Riga right now are, are busy shooting themselves in their own foot. Seen several turnovers from them. As Pai Shiloh's got whistle for the walk. So they're going to have to get out of their own way and try to stay in Rylot's way. They did enough there to prevent the shot made. Now Rylot, he's in trouble. Krumens. 14-12. Rylot, he's got the green line. Didn't have the green release. He got to work on his 2K skills. Block underneath. Krumens is saying that went off red. Wait a minute. What's his argument? I don't, I don't know if it went off red. I'm not sure what the argument is. Wait a minute. TV timeout time. I do. There's no argument with that. I don't think the players would. They're going to suck some air. And regroup, recharge, heading into the, to the last three minutes and 50 seconds of our second contest of the day. Pool B going down here inside the Glorieta Activity Center in Manila. Nearly 8 million pesos at stake. That's 122,000 USD, by the way. 12 teams, 10 countries. As we bring you this FIBA 3X3 Manila Masters brought to you by our global partners, Chooks to Go. Oh, nice sharing 
Oh, Casio doesn't get it to go down. That loose Wilson lands in Crewman's hands. Crewman's working from the right wing. Him and his fellow Olympian. He's left alone. Crew for two. Count that. 14-14. The bump, no bucket. Crewman's now on the drive. That was an awkward looking layup. But they ain't got to be pretty to count. Riga take their first lead of the game with 3.10 to go. They were down 7-3. And they were also down 11-7. Uh, Both teams with eight fouls. It's Ocasio. El Toro will step up to the line. Second free throw is a miss, but I, said, I think a lane violation. I do believe a lane violation was called on Riga. I think Chavar stepped in there a little bit too soon. So Casio will get another chance. And he makes good on that. Shilich drives right, high layup attempt. Great defense to contest it. Uh, and a smart play by Chavares. Yep, yep. He got uh, Kuaskut off the ground and, and drew the contact on the way up. He's going to get two free throws. He was going to shoot two anyway because they're in the penalty, but it stops the clock. Gives Riga a breather and a chance to take the lead here from the stripe as Chavar splashes the first of two. Second of two, money. Rallot, oh. Misses the reverse layup. He was a little bit too fast. By Shilich, he will whip it down. Chavars, who tracks it down. That loose ball is kicked. Who got a foot on it? I know Puerto Ricans are excellent at football, but they cannot confuse the sports. Crewman's risky pass, and it is taken away. Now Rallot, he's licking his chops. He will swing it to Ocasio. Not that time. Rebound underneath. Contact in the bucket. He is fuerte. Leandro Allende. He'll get a potential and two opportunity in what could be a three-point play if he's able to connect at the free throw line. 17-17 game. We got a thriller in Manila. Nine fouls apiece and 17 points apiece. Two free throws upcoming for Allende. Ay, ay, ay. No bueno. Second try. Oh. No bueno. Missed them both. And then they got to watch that dissection. As Chavars hit them with the cut. They go up by one. Oh. I like with the nice step back, but he didn't, he didn't hit it. So it was a play almost worth talking about. Timeout on the floor. Riga, they want to talk it over with a one-point advantage. This is one of those games for San Juan who have had some signature wins again here in 2023. They've shown some flashes. They beat teams like Dusseldorf and Spain, Lausanne in their own backyard. But can they do it now? Here's how the, here's how the game has progressed 
since that 16 to 15 mark. Riga have outscored them three to one. And for now, in front by one, and this sprint to 21. We'll see what San Juan can do with it here. Rilat, he's running the baseline. Step back. Oh, dos. Es bueno. Big two from Allende. San Juan now leading. Chavez. No. High rebound to Ocasio. Ocasio, he chucks the deuces. By Shilich, ISO game. Red dot. He's going to miss his mark that time. Out of bounds, it will go and back over to San Juan. Will they look to end it with a two? Maybe the better play would be to, to drive and maybe draw contact. After all, they will be shooting free throws. And a 10th foul for either team would mean two free throws and possession. I'm just trying to forecast a little bit and think, think strategy if I was playing the game. If I'm San Juan against this Riga team that's been, that hasn't gone anywhere, they managed to keep fighting back, you don't want to leave that door open. I'm only taking a two if I get a clean look. Otherwise, I'm going to try to get to the rim, create an opportunity for either an easy score or a foul opportunity and potentially end the game at the strike. But this isn't like an overtime period to where it has to, you have to win it with a two right now. We'll see how they handle it. Rylot waiting for some help to come around. Rylot all by himself. That is what you call taking what the defense gives you. He had a clear lane, no stoplights, no stop signs, and no popo. Now Crumans gets the same, so they trade one for one. San Juan could win it with a bucket here. Ocasio, oh, he missed it bad. That was broke, broke. Crumans, oh. High rebound to Ocasio. One to a minute to go. Don't have to force a two here. Ocasio with the move on Crumans. Ocasio takes the bump. Ocasio off the window. No. By Shilich now. Iso game left wing. Next bucket. Will tie it up. As Red Dot says adios. Game point. Rylott. Why not? Ball game with a Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. <laughs> Antonio, right.